Hello, this is Yanis Varoufakis with a message for DiEM25 members. Our comrade Julian Assange, who was at the Volksbühne Theatre in February 2016 on the screen, but one of the founding members of our movement, is rotting in this awful high security prison in Belmarsh, outside of London. I just saw him. He's in a very dark place. And yet, instead of me giving him courage, he gave me strength with the sharpness of his mind. 22 hours a day, he's in solitary. Sensory deprivation is the order of the day. Sadistic, cruel behavior is uh, what he experiences. Today, for instance, a day before the trial for his extradition begins, begins tomorrow, the prison authorities saw it fit to search his cell while he was trying to collect his mind, his, his, his thinking, his thoughts, uh, to prepare for the court case tomorrow. Because I saw him for two hours, together with his wonderful, magnificent father, John, he's not going to be allowed the 30 minutes that supposedly he has the right to spend in a yard, very small yard, you know, high walls, but at least he can see some of the sky. He was not going to be allowed even that today, for those 30 minutes. That this should be happening in the heart of the country, Great Britain, in which liberalism grew and flourished, is um, an affront to civilization. Uh, at the same time, I'm hopeful. Firstly, because, as I said, he gave me strength. Secondly, because Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of the opposition, put a question to the House of Commons, to the Prime Minister, in which he described exactly the crux, the kernel of the problem. And Boris Johnson, to his credit, gave a good answer, an answer that pertained to, the, to civil liberties. I'm also encouraged by the fact that in this country, there are judges that can be potentially independently minded enough in order to turn down the extradition uh, demand by the United States of America. DiEM25 is going to is going to continue to fight on the side of Julian Assange. And it really doesn't matter whether you like Julian or not. What matters is we are fighting for transparency, for democracy, and for freedom of the press. Carpe diem.